This video is focusing on colour pencil techniques. Before you start with your colour pencils, make sure that your colour pencil is sharpened very nicely. You want a nice sharp pencil. We're looking at layering to change the value and to change the depth of the colour. And then we're also going to use pressure to change the value and the depth of the colour. Finally, then we'll look at layering two different colours. So we begin with the layering technique. Hold your pencil on its side, and then it's nice and light. And we're going to go from a light to a dark range of color. So I'm using it on its side. When you use your pencil on its side, it's much, much lighter. Okay, so I'm going to create the light layers first. Okay, now at the moment they all look the same, so now I'm going to go, I'm going to leave that, that's the lightest. Here I'm going to add a second layer. I'm also going to change the direction, so that will fill in some of the blank areas on the paper. So now I'm going to go ahead and add my third layer here. Notice I'm changing direction, I'm still holding the pencil on its side. Notice the change of value, it's getting darker. So this was one layer, two layers, three layers, one, so now I'm going to add four layers. Okay, I'm not particularly changing the pressure, but I'm just building up the layers. Okay, and then finally five layers, so one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, I'm gonna draw a line just so we don't get mixed up. Now I'm going to look at using the pencil in a different way, we're going to use pressure, a change of pressure. Now this time I'm going to hold the pencil further towards the front. This gives me a lot of control. Rest your wrist on the paper. You won't have, if you have it floating, it's not controlled. Now it's controlled, okay? And I'm just going to, again, I'm going to do this. Now this time, I'm going to press down a little bit harder. Do you see how that's different? A little bit harder. I'm not going backwards and forwards, that gives layers, okay? I'm just changing pressure. Now I'm pressing down quite hard, not so hard that the point breaks. And then finally one more, and I'm really going to press down. Okay, so a change of pressure, and I had the pencil holding it very close, and it was on point. Okay, now finally, I want to try using layering, but to get to using two colors. So, I've got a red and a yellow. When you're layering, add the lighter layer first, okay? So notice that I'm using my pencil on its side again. Okay, because I want a nice soft mix. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the red. So at the moment it still looks a bit like a red and yellow rather than necessarily orange. So I'm gonna change my direction. Notice that I'm not going very fast, I'm going slow. Going backwards and forwards. Now I'm going to try adding the red nice and slow. Filling in the gaps. Now it's beginning to look a lot more like orange. Okay, so I'm switching between the two. Yellow. 
I see areas where I see quite a lot of white, I'm going over it again. Okay. So if you ever find yourself with limited colors of pencils, don't worry because the layering technique can help you get more colors. Okay, and that's where we are and that's what you're going to do.